I recently destroyed the hose garage on my Festool uh, Mini CT. And through a bit of research, I found out that this is a very common problem, especially with the older ones. Um, over time, this black plastic gets very brittle and is easily damaged. This one's almost 10 years old and it's still going strong. So I figured, you know, I mean, obviously I did this little um, duct tape fix temporarily, but I figured it's worth it um, to go ahead and replace the upper portion. And while I'm doing that, I also opted to get the updated version that has the sustainer lock. Now this could be used for accessories or what I'm planning to do is uh, DIY this into a separator. I know that Festool sells one, but it's fun for me to, you know, take on little projects like this and see if I can figure it out, but more on that later. The other thing I found out through my research is that there is no information online on how to actually make this swap. Additionally, no instructions were included with this. All I got was this, this portion, these four screws, which are longer than the original, and this bit of plastic and this screw. What they're for, I have no idea, but I assume we'll find out once we get inside. Here I'm removing the base so I can gain access to the four Torx screws. Next, it looks like we need to remove these two screws here and here. I like to use a magnetic tray to keep track of all the parts. Well, that looks like a nightmare. Luckily, I don't think we have to detach anything. So I'm just going to leave this kind of hanging off like this. I don't believe that any of this needs to be disconnected. I'm just going to leave it there. And I'm going to kind of peek in the back here and see what we're, what we're hanging up on. Okay, so the power cord. We're still hung up in the back here. The AC cord comes through here. And I think we figured out what that little piece of plastic is for. This looks strangely familiar. So let's go ahead and back this screw out. That piece just acts as a clamp. The power cord comes down through here. You've got your ground and then your neutral and your hot wire. They all come into this splitter that has more Torx screws. So let's go ahead and remove those. If I just loosen these, I should be able to pull the wires out. So let's try that. There we go. All right. We should be free. So let's back this wire out. Wonder if this zip tie is going to give me trouble. Yep. All right, you must cut the zip tie. Ta-da! <laughs> that was easy, right? Um, I guess we're halfway now, so all we have to do is just do everything in reverse and we should be good. see where it was clamped before so I'm going to go ahead and try and line that with the slot there's a notch here that aligns with this so just line those up don't forget your little foam football
Here I just loosely align the top to the base so I can reconnect the power cable to the splitter. Because you have the protrusion of the dust port on the bottom, it's going to be easier to reassemble this on the base. So I'm just going to put this on here. There's a channel right here that the power cord and this ground wire both travel down. So make sure you route those in there. Okay. So let's go ahead and install the clamp. Good to go. Top on. Okay, all lined up. Let's secure this. Secure that. Let's flip the whole thing over. Take this off. Now we can put our four bolts back in. Now remember, you're going to need to use the longer ones. Good as new. Well, that was fun, right? I've been a little absent on YouTube lately, focusing more on my Instagram, but I'm planning to make more content for this channel. I just finished a complete shop renovation that ended up going a little longer than expected, but it's finally done. And I'm going to do a new shop tour to show you all exactly what I did and why I did it. So stay tuned. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. I don't know, do whatever you want. It's your life. Thanks, guys. You have a Festool dust extractor with a broken hose garage. Or maybe you just like watching a guy struggle trying to do things on his own with no instructions or any kind of information available. Festool dust extractor, similar to this one, with a busted ass hose garage. I don't know if I can say ass. Uh, who cares?